Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and today I'm here in Silhouette Studio and I wanted to talk about the subtract function in Silhouette Studio or the subtract tool in Silhouette Studio. And the subtract tool is part of the modify panel and it's a wonderful tool to use for a lot of reasons. Basically, you can cut shapes or text out of other shapes, you can create knockout designs, you can help eliminate the need for layering with your vinyl designs. And once you learn how to subtract, you it will probably become one of the most frequently used tools in Silhouette Studio for you. So you can find the subtract tool in the modify panel in the right sidebar here and if you hover over the things in your right sidebar it tells you what they are so you can open the modify panel the icon for the modify panel is a little rectangle with a circle overlapping and you can see the different modify icons that are here in the modify panel you have weld I think we've talked about that one before we have subtract all we have divide crop intersect subtract um, the different path functions make the compound path or release the compound path and also detach lines and the other place that you can find the modify subtract function is up here if you go to object you can go to modify and you can go to subtract and right now this is grayed out because I don't have any objects selected on my mat to subtract and we're going to be working on that here in just a little bit so in this video we're going to go through how subtract works and we're going to go through some of the applications for it as you um, learn how to create beautiful things for your home and family using your silhouette and so I have this window and a few other windows where we'll be going through some different techniques and so I hope you'll stick around and and at the end we'll kind of make a little SVG that I've set up and I'm sure you'll learn some new techniques from this video so let's start out by talking about what the subtract tool does and we're going to grab our rectangle shape and if I hold down my shift key I can make a perfect square let's make our square red and let's go up here and rotate it to 45 degrees clockwise and let's just bring it down over the corner of our rectangle here now subtract subtracts the thing or takes away from the object behind so the object that you're subtracting has to be in the front and so now if I go here and I mouse over all of my things I have to have more than one object I have to have the object that I'm subtracting and the object that I'm subtracting from and I can just hit subtract and now that takes my square away from my rectangle and the piece that was overlapping disappears so let's go back here and let's talk about something we could maybe do with that and I'm going to hold down my alt key or you could copy and paste we don't need both of those but there's more than one way of course you can do things and I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to select both of those and align them at the bottom and group them and then let's select all of this and align it in the middle and let's subtract and now you have sort of a little tag cut file that you can use and it just eliminated the, those corners for me so now I can make a circle let's make that 0.25 
whoops, and I wasn't locked there, so let's lock that and make it 0.25 for a perfect circle. And let's make that yellow so that we can see it. Drag it down over our tag, align it in the center, and we can go ahead and subtract again. And you can see that it took that away, and we have, if you go over to the gray or to the white, you can see right through there. Now I have some little rabbits over here, and I'm going to color one of these light blue. And let's go up here to this color option and select both of these by holding down my shift key and do my, sub my modify panel and click subtract. And now I knock that little bunny design out of the bottom and I have a cute little tag that I could use and um, write on this for Easter or, you know, whatever I wanted to do. Let's see it a little better here. So that's one thing you could possibly do with the subtract tool. Another thing that I talked about was being able to save vinyl. So let's, or not save vinyl, but eliminate the need for layering vinyl. So let's go ahead and let's color these bunnies. And now I want to bring my baby bunny to the front. Oops. And you can see that these would overlap here, right in through this area here. And so let's go ahead and I'm going to copy and paste in front. So I'm going to go Control C, Control F, and that's going to give me an extra copy of that little bunny in the front. Let's undo that. We know that we have two copies of the bunny now. And I want to be able to keep one of the copies in the bunny, so that of the bunny, and still subtract. And so that's why I did it that way. I'm going to hold down my shift key, select bunny one and bunny two, and go to subtract. And now it doesn't look like anything happened, but I did subtract that top bunny from the bunny behind, and now my other bunny is still left. And you can see I eliminated that overlap in the my vinyl design, and I'd be able to layer these without having to layer the vinyl. So I talked a little bit about how you could do knockout designs. Let's go to a new window over here where I set up um, some text. And I'm going to do this love you mom design here. I'm going to get rid of my smart guide there. But this is a text that's on top of um, this kind of bold font mom here. And I want to knock this text out of this text for layering. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the black. And I'm going to do an offset. And I did 0 0.025 on my offset. I'm going to click Apply and let's make that a color so we can see it. Let's make it light blue. And while that's selected, let's go ahead and hold down our shift key and select our purple. And now let's go to our modify panel again and subtract. And now you can see that your black text is still there, but it knocked out or um, yeah it knocked out the text from the mom that we had here. Now one of the things I like to do with designs like this is I like to eliminate these little pieces 
And these are all sort of on their own. So in order to be able to move this all together, I'd like to um, mouse over all of this and make a compound path. And that way that makes this a lot easier if I'm going to move it around on the mat. But now you can see how this text just fits in there perfectly. And if you wanted to put that on a shirt for Mother's Day or something, or a canvas, you would be able to do that. So that's a little bit about the knockout design. Let's go ahead and go to another way that you can use subtract. And I have this egg that I made, and I also have this from my library, something that I purchased in the Silhouette store quite some time ago, I guess. And um, I think it's called Zen Doodles or something like that, but it's like a stencil. And if I had this in the back and I subtracted my egg from it, this is what I would end up with. So let's have our egg in the back instead. And let's just sort of line this up here. And now let's select both of these. The egg is in the back this time. And we're going to subtract. And now you have a kind of a cool pattern that's on your egg. The stencil is gone. But let's go ahead again and make this into a compound path. And you've just made a pattern with a shape. And so that's kind of another cool thing that you can do with the subtract tool in Silhouette Studio. So before we go on to creating our little SVG design, let's go ahead and we'll do one more thing. I'm lining up a rectangle to my guideline here. This is a, got a ruler guide or a snap guide that is available in Designer Edition and above. And I'm going to go to my arc, draw an arc tool here. And I'm just going to kind of line the bottom of the arc tool up to my, um, that guideline and draw an arc. Let's convert my arc to a path. And now I have it centered. And let's go to subtract. Let's do it up here. Object, modify, subtract. And now it looks like I didn't do anything, but it sort of sliced it right here. And now I have that arc at the top of my um, rectangle. And so these functions here work with your um, subtract too. So like if I wanted to just, you know, draw a freehand thing here, either a shape or a line, I can subtract and create something that way. The last thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a SVG file for putting on a, a dog treats jar. And I have a little dog paw here and I have a bone. And this is just something I made using some basic shapes. And this was something that I got from my library. And, and let's go ahead and type out some text. And I want all caps. And I'm going to change this to a font. Let's make that black. And let's ungroup those letters and get rid of the O.
and let's just place our dog paw here in the middle and let's offset that I'm just going to bump it up to 0 0.40 and let's color that offset orange and bring it to the front and I'm going to group that. Okay, so now I need to have these two grouped, otherwise it's going to subtract one of the letters on me. And I don't want that to happen, so let's group that. And I want to take my orange dog paw and my word dog. I'm going to hold down the shift key so both of them are selected. And I'm going to go to my modify panel again and click subtract. And now it's subtracted my offset and I have my paw on the inside of my lettering. And let's just make that a compound path. And now we're going to do treats. And so let's type out the word treats. And let's change the font on that to, this is one I have that's called Angel's Cookie. And I'm going to bump up the character spacing a little bit. Let's change that to white so we can see it. And let's just put that in the middle of our dog bone. Let's change it to a different color because the white is, the background is white here. Let's change it to red. And let's go to align it in the middle and in the center. And now we're going, we're going to go to our modify panel again. And remember we could go up to here to object, modify, subtract or we could just subtract in the Modify panel. And now that knocks out all of um, the letters. And if I zoom in here, you can see there's these little squares around these pieces. That's because if I moved this, those little pieces would drop out. Again, let's make the compound path. And now we just have um, this whole design that's all one that we can move around. And we can resize these to whatever we want. And I could group that. And I could save this to my library for, rent, for when I'm ready to do a project with it. And it's probably going to be a little bit big for what I need it for, but we can resize it whatever size we need it to be. So let's just review here a little bit. We made our little tag cut file by subtracting that square from those corners and we made the the cutout with the bunny and the um, string hole for our tag. And we saved ourselves some vinyl layering here with our rabbits. We did the knockout design for our love you mom. We did the pattern on the egg and we created our little dog treats SVG. So which one of those were, was your favorite way to use the subtract tool in Silhouette Studio? I hope you'll share that in the comments down below. I hope this video was helpful to you today. And if so, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from Say It With Simplicity. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified when more videos come out. Thanks for watching today, and if you have any questions or comments, I hope that you will leave them down in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time. Bye now!